frick is up, everybody? <laughs> what the frick is up? Uh, so today we're doing a podcast. Uh, I've seen a podcast. This is a talk. Oh, it's a talk. Like casual talk. It's, it's 420 right now. It's people looking Bro, at Bro, it is 420. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to try to go till 450. It's probably going to be longer because Issa talks a lot. I'm just passionate about growth. Growth. Beer. Not just like growth, like height, like growth as in. What you trying to say? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, man. Growth as in growth. Like outgrowing your friends or your friends outgrowing you. Or just, you know, growth general, general growth. Yeah, exactly. General growth. Like, Maybe some a little back, little background. Like the reason why we wanted to talk about growth is because we feel like we're sort of entering new stages in our lives. Like everybody. Yeah. I'm everybody I'm about is. to be graduating college, real world. Yeah. <sighs> Can't relate. No. You still <laughs> might be moving out. No. <laughs> oh, moving out? What you mean? Where? I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, shoot. No, but, uh, you know, people are just getting older. Like, a lot of our friends are getting married. Oh, yeah. That's that's a fun time in life. Um, a lot of people are, you know, getting new jobs. The homie just uh, homie just got married in Dubai. Oh. <sighs> yeah, good friend of mine. That's where Bidal is right now. Mashallah. And, like, people are just, people are just growing, you know, growth and, like, I feel like there's a big misconception on growth, and we talked about this last time. But um, I think whenever you think about growth, like the word, I feel like it has sort of this positive connotation. Exactly, it is like a positive connotation where it's like, oh, growth means to become better or to grow from a bad situation or whatever. And I don't think that's necessarily true. By the way, disclaimer, full disclaimer, like we're not pros, right? We don't know everything. These are just our personal opinions and stuff, but. From our personal experiences, of course. One hundred. One hundred. But, uh, yeah, like, I think growth is, can be sort of, like, a good analogy, I guess, would be, you know, growing from the age 13 to the age 14. Okay. And it's like, that doesn't necessarily mean that with every year that you grow older, you become better. Because some people, they get older and they get worse. Yeah, some people stay the same. Some people peak at seven years old. Like, uh, I have a... Someone I know that uh, he's around like his later twenties, but he still acts the exact same way since he's been a child. Like, Man, I know a hundred people like that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like they grow, but in a different way, maybe. Yeah, for sure. I think growth, in a way, is development, right? It's like a synonym, I guess, would be evolution. You know what I'm saying you're evolution. evolving as a person, like. If on your last day on earth, that is who you are, or that's who you most are, I think, like, growth is the the um, process in becoming more of that, right? Or or becoming more of who you want to be. Um, I think that's, that's what growth is. But, uh, but yeah, man. What do you mean by, like, who you want to be? I think, because I think, like, okay, if I set a goal for myself, like, yo, I want to be a million billionaire, right? Okay. Like, growth for me or development for me in that sort of game or in, in that l- lane is like maybe networking right getting better getting smarter reading more things like that like i think those help me grow to to become that thing but i think that i don't know i just don't believe that not becoming better means doesn't mean you're not growing i, I don't know and i know that sounds sort of like it makes sense it sort makes of sense. sounds upside down but i think literally everything that happens to you you know it you know it helps, it helps you, you grow, grow in some yeah. way in some way or another cuz it's like experiences like the more you get the more you learn yeah for sure and not necessarily like when you learn you won't you know just become better yeah yeah you just for sure know more exactly sometimes sometimes it's true but yeah what about you man i know i know you have a few like i'm so proud of you man i really am so proud of you like i know i'm super rough on you sometimes but i really am from the bottom of my heart like really proud of you for you know, like staying in school and, and do not even just staying in school, right? That's easy, but just yeah, that, doing well, like easy. doing well in school, and and then also doing, doing okay in school, doing excellent. I have done better. I have grown in my. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. But yeah, but then on on top of that is like you have maintained a very g- great like, like you have maintained a solid head on your shoulders the entire time. And I'm not just saying this to gas you up, but I, I genuinely think that uh, you you've been really solid in your morals. And, like, I think that's so impressive, man, that you, you do the photography, right, on the side. You do videos on the side, right? You have a business. You have, uh, you, 
you work for like a big like you know you're shooting stuff for like that company yeah, that's crazy man ballet manager easy <laughs> what else what else you doing bro i don't know man i'm just at the end of the day it's really just like moving and growing like you said it's like uh I don't necessarily feel like I'm growing. I just feel like I've been, because of my morals, I've just been founded on, like, how I am. And that's why I'm not sure if I've grown. That's the thing. That's scary. It's like, I feel like I've just been the same person, but time has just flown. Man, I had, like, a mental breakdown. Like, I don't even know how long ago. Maybe, like, this month has been super tough on me. Uh huh. Like, December is just super tough on me. And I've been trying to really, like, focus on becoming better. And so a few, man, like a few weeks ago, I just like was like, what the heck is wrong with me? Like, I feel like I've been in the same place for like three years, four years since 2015. And that's not true. But I felt like that. I felt like. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. how I've, I've but my been mental, My mental's in the same yeah, place. You know like, what I'm saying? I, I feel like I'm not moving. Like, just time is coming. Yeah, for sure. Things around me are moving. But I just feel like the same person. Dude. It's, it's so weird. Yeah, it's crazy. Like. And that's, that's like, tough. Like, I spend a lot of time alone. And, obviously, when you spend time alone, you're in your head. Yes. And your thoughts are loud, man. And I was just, I was, like. I mean, we've had a friend who's experienced that. What do you mean? Like, how he, he went off to wherever he went off. And he just, he just had to think by himself. Yeah, for like, sure. He was just isolated. Absolutely. And we'll talk about him because that's a big deal. But, but I just remember, like. I remember I made a, a conscious decision late 2016 to become better, right? Like, I think prior to that, I was in terrible situations, right? Yes. I was in some of the relationships that I were in were just super toxic, very, very negative. And it was a little, it was kind of around the time that I had some, like, I mean, not crazy family stuff, yeah. but, like, my parents ended up splitting up. Yeah. But I was grown. So my parents ended up splitting up, and I think subconsciously I, I was a little bit affected by it. And I kind of was, like, immediately exposed to, like, a whole bunch of freedom. Like... Yeah, yeah. That, like, it was crazy. That. Um, So I could leave whenever I want. I could be gone for a week, come back, and nobody would ask me anything. Nobody could tell me anything. And obviously, I, d I don't think I took advantage of this situation intentionally, but I definitely think that I was, you know, exploring this this new freedom. This new growth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, so, you know, a little bit after that, I, I, I was just kind of, like, slowly, slowly becoming just a more just a worse person i think all together like my 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 brain wasn't in the right place a lot of things were terrible and uh i just eventually found myself in front of surrounded by a bunch of people that were stuck man they were like in the same place you know what i'm saying like yeah. always into like the same things, stuff you know what i'm saying and uh and then i just made a conscious decision late 2016 like dude uh i need to get out of this situation like Whatever it takes, I need to get out of this. And um, it was actually that, like, the hair flip video, man. To I hate bringing it up because I bring it up so much. But <laughs> the hair flip video changed the game for me, man, because that was the first time that I actually intentionally did something with with a purpose that was more than just uh, for fun or, yeah, like, we, to, to get likes, fun. right? But, um, <laughs> but, yeah, man. And then immediately after that, bro, immediately after that, I, like, stopped talking to, like, people that were – super close to me man like you super. went off social media as well yeah man i got off social media. it was crazy like i really was like I, I cracked down on my like slam like my religion like i cracked down on it hard and uh yeah man and i feel like i know i'm a different person than absolutely now than no, i was I've, then. I've noticed it like. for sure but sometimes i just sometimes i feel like i'm not far enough away from you know where i was but you know but time. is that a bad thing because it's like you weren't necessarily a bad person back then. So it's like, what 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 are you trying to get from being super far from what you were? I don't think it's... So that's a big... That's a great question. I think the thing is, is like individual people, they have expectations for themselves, right? Yes, absolutely. And, uh, it's, it's, a, it's common that people, uh, they measure their success by the success of their peers or people in their age group or people in their class or whatever. But for me, I try to really, really focus on, like, measuring my success um, with sort of like this where I want to be for myself, you know what I'm saying? And so whenever I, whenever I, and I have very extremely high expectations for myself, and so whenever I think about where I would like to be, right? Yes. 
then it's like I'm nowhere near that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm like, dang, I'm not moving fast enough. And it's like I'm really killing the game, to be honest. Yeah. I'm killing it, the game. It's like so far, <laughs> like the expectation you set for yourself. So yeah. it's like you're probably seeing it as like your end goal. So it's like yeah. that takes forever to get to. So I guess in a sense you will always be super far distant. From for it. sure, for sure. One thing, so, you know, I was doing a little self-reflecting, and it was like, man, I kind of felt like I was extremely, I'm very confident, right? Like We know. <laughs> I'm we a know. very confident guy, even when maybe I shouldn't be, and I obviously need to, you know, I, I, I've, like, very, I've tried hard to focus on being more humble and being more modest, and I have been humbled plenty times, but uh, I have uh, kind of recently, well, not recently, but in the past year or so, I've been th- thinking, like, man, I am not the guy, right? Like, I am not. I'm not that dude that is, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of realized whenever we first brought up this topic, like, people have outgrown me as well, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's, no one is ever always going to be the person that's outgrowing someone. Yeah, right. of course. Uh, sometimes you get outgrown in a way, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. And then other times, it's like no one is outgrowing another They're person. They're just going, you know what I'm saying? yeah, They're so, like, like I, I've had, like, that situation with my uh, one of my closest friends, like, my, my brother. Uh, like, we just grew up together. Like, uh, he knew my mom before I knew my mom. And his mo- my mom named his brother, basically. Dang. And uh, it's like, man, from day one, literally to, like, I don't know when. But I just know, like, around high school time, we just stopped talking. I, I don't know what for. It's like, not like we started hating each other or nothing. It's like, we just grew apart. Like, uh. I guess, like, not being around each other makes you, I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? When, yeah. when you're not around each other. But basically, like, what happened was, like, we're in different high schools. And it's, I don't know, I feel like it's hard for people to just always text each other. And we just fell off. And then we kind of reconnected uh, probably my senior year, so his freshman year of college. Hmm. And uh, we didn't really grow up like away from each other because we did outgrow each other yeah yeah yeah. and it was just like our friendship was on pause yeah major major man we just came back everything was normal that is major like and that's a common thing i think that's a scary thing we have friends right we have a a friend that i feel like uh you know out of high school there were two very close friends best friends even that that were always together and you would never think they'd separate in my opinion their personalities are more compatible than maybe any, you know what I'm saying, maybe any two people that I know. Yeah. And uh and still even today, right? I still feel like that in in some ways. But uh one of them was kind of locked in this situation and the other one was kind of free and and had room to grow and and was graduated high school and was kind of, you know, I don't think was growing at an excessive rate. I don't think was outgrowing anybody. It was just growing up, you know. And would you I, say they were growing at the same rate? They weren't like, and I think that one of them, right, our friend, I think she kind of just was in a situation that didn't allow her to kind of move anywhere. And so they ended up, man, and I'm telling you, like, these people are like, boom, like that, right? Like this, not even like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, they, they, it's like, you cannot even, I could not even pinpoint the specific reason why they're not talking right now. And I feel like that is how important, like, growth is. And that is how, like, that's how, you know, it can affect you. It's like, it's so powerful, right? Like, what the lane that you're on is so powerful that everything in your life that's leading you in that direction, it has to fit. And if something doesn't fit, you'll either lose it, right? You'll you'll get rid of it or you'll your lane will change, right? So I'll give you an example. Uh, and then we'll come back to this. We have another close friend super close friend uh, I won't say his name but I love him to death still a good friend of mine uh, in in my senior year in high school we were close super close and uh, I kind of even introduced him to a little bit of like you know what I'm saying a little bit of video or whatever and so because at the time we're both into video we're both learning we're both kind of into the same things we're super compatible you know what I'm saying on the same lane and then Girl, he goes off to ho- the same pace right and then he goes off to college and we're we we rock a little bit more aggressive like we're a little bit more you know what i'm saying like uh i'm a, i can be very you know what i'm saying i can be a little bit aggressive for some people, people for no reason that's not true but <laughs> but 
uh, and he is so much more positive energy. He's so optimistic and so just a super like beautiful soul. And uh, and I think what happened was as we were as we started as we started to you know get older. You know, he went off to college and was exposed to so many more things, right? So exposed to so many great things, great things, or things and, that fit like fit. You fit know, him. you know what I'm saying? Or that's what he adopted. He adopted new things that became him. And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't necessarily on that same lane. Yeah. And so there was a time where I feel like he was sort of, he was like hurting where he would like call me randomly, be in college and be like, dude, I feel like I'm losing y'all. Like, I feel like y'all are in Houston. And I was like, brother, like, you have not lost us. You yeah. got to handle it over there. Like, you have to do what you have to do over there. And like, man, that's just you. That's that's what you're doing right now. Like, I'm still here. I want to be here. I don't have any new friends. Like, <laughs> we're going to be good. And uh, I think, man, he just blossomed over there, man. Started making a ton of money. Start, you know what I'm saying? It's because like, we were kind of like holding him back. In Definitely me, man. Definitely me, I feel like specifically. Yeah, not like, me. Like there would be some times where I would be very hard on him. And like I think that I, because I was – he's so optimistic and I, I feel like I'm a little bit more like a, of a realist, I would come maybe shoot him down a little bit. And I feel so bad about that now, you know, looking back. And, you know, and, and, and I feel like for him, it was like, if I want to grow, then I might need to, I love Issa, but I might got, I might have to, you know what I'm saying? Separate my, separate myself from, for, for now and, and let me like handle what I need to handle. And then we'll, we'll come back if we come yeah. back. And if we don't, then it was for the best. And I feel like that's, that's kind of what happened. It's kind of like me and my brother, like I was saying. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, definitely he outgrew me, you know what I'm saying? Or we grew separately or whatever the case was, but. Uh, I think it was so important for him to do that because if he would have tried to hold on to me, then the lane that he was on, it would have he would have messed it up. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, he had to he had to kind of everything has to fit for you. If you if you have a if you have a focus or you have a goal or you're you know you're growing in a certain direction, there are things that you naturally will adopt, pick up, and there are things that you naturally will let go of in order to get to where you want to be or get to where you get to where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but, sir. Uh, but yeah great guy man but back to the other back to the other group of friends i said <laughs> that to say this one you know our our friend this girl who was locked in a in a situation really she was locked in a relationship that's what it was and it was sort of a negative relationship i think uh and i don't know the you know the internals or whatever like the inside scoop but i know that you know from the outside looking in it was bad and she would say kind of negative things about it and i know the guy was kind of negative about it a little bit and I just think that she was so afraid of, I think in my opinion, sometimes people are afraid of growth, right? They're afraid to, to grow because if you- Comfortability. It, yeah, it's so comfortable, right? If you grow out of a relationship and you're not immediately, that, that relationship is not replaced, right? The things that that person gave you is, are not replaced, then it's a little scary to be entering entering sort of the unknown or whatever and i feel like that was the case for her it was like she would have been if she would have left that and allowed herself to grow then she would have potentially been maybe single or potentially have not have had that that person but i think that it would have allowed her to grow work on herself and then she would meet someone else who you know what i'm saying who grows yeah. sort of into her so lane exactly but uh she just, I think it took her a little bit of time to kind of get that through. And people had already kind of grown grown away from her. So, but, uh, you know, I, I think to this day, even right now, and I told you this, I think there's still a chance for, for her and her, her old, very best close friend to come together again. I, I don't think that is so far-fetched. I think that we're young, bro. We're super young. Like, why, I definitely why, why do you believe that, though? I just... Would I'm you believe that even if they... Oh wow! Would you believe that even if they had bad blood? Yeah, man. If you asked, if you asked one of them, why why did you stop talking to so and so, and then you asked the other one, they would have different answers. Yeah, they would have completely different true. answers. That's very true. And the reason why the reason why that's so important is because it's like the it means that the problem isn't such a major problem that they both are so focused on it, right? Yeah. It means that if she thinks that. So if, if we have a problem and I think it's one thing and you think it's another 
and I find out like, oh, it's not even what I thought it was. I'll fix that. Yeah, yeah. I'll fix that. And then you'll be like, oh, it's not. Well, I'll, I'll fix, fix it. it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So simple. that's what I think. On top of that, it's like I know their relationship. It's like I know what the issue is. <laughs> so and I don't think the issue was that big. And I think that if they wanted to, right, they could work it out. Yeah, they can grow it, past it. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same relationship that they had, but Absolutely. it would be a more matured version of that. You know, that relationship I, because I, they're different people now. They're different sense. people, they right? And I, I think they're so compatible that even as grown-ups, uh, I think they would still get along. It's definitely possible. I'm not saying that. I, <laughs> I just meant like... I'm like, just playing with you, bro. You trying to play me. I feel like... I, I talk too much, man. Yeah, uh, we, we addressed that in Shut the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's not... I'm not the more insightful person on this kind of thing because I, I do feel like I have not grown very much as a... Well, maybe have, as a bro. person, I have grown... But, like, mentally, I don't think I've grown. I think you have, brother. Like, I think you have. It's, it's like, sort of in a sense, like you. You said you feel like you've been stuck in the same place. But I know that I haven't. <laughs> really? See, I know that I have been, too. Well, I mean. No, I said I know that I haven't. I haven't been. I think that way. But I know that. I look around, I'm like. Well, of course, I know that I haven't either. It's like I've grown because of college, the environment that it's put me in. It's yeah. like. Coming out of high school, I was in a very, like, you know, comfortable place. I knew a lot of people. Yeah. Networking was good. It was just, I, I, was, I would say I was super comfortable. And it's like, you know how some people struggle in college because you said, like, growing up is, like, uncomfortable thing. So I feel like, of course, I've grown because college has made me grow. Like, it's slept on. Like, people... You know, want to drop out all the time. Yeah. I, in, in fact, I wanted to drop out, but it's like I grew because of the environment, like it, like some of you've always told me, like life forces you to move. Dude, Pff, crazy. So it's like quote in a me sense, on that, baby. Yeah. So in quote, a sense, quote college has made me, you know, force me to grow. It's like I was put in an environment where I couldn't just, you know, not make new friends. Not You've been learn. killing it, bro. Stop playing. Yeah, I mean. You've been killing it. But I'm just saying mentally, I feel like I've been in the same Well, where do you want to be then? It's like. I don't know where I want to be. That's also a problem. All right. Oh, Lord. I think. I'll say this, right? And I'll probably end with this. But I think, in my opinion, that because I didn't know, I didn't know what I wanted to do either, right? Like. Uh, for a long time, I didn't know what I. I remember all as a child. I was like, I'm becoming an NFL. Sam, that's that's where I've been. Yeah. NBA, NBA, yeah. bro, I'm NFL, going to NFL, NFL, and it's like, bro, I'm five seven, hundred and nothing <laughs> pounds, like, and I just, bro, I believed it, like I believed that the sun would rise in the morning. Yeah, it's like, bro, because that was the environment we grew up in. It's like that's Dude, all we did. That's people used to hype did. me up, like heavy, Isa, bro. Isa. And then I wanted to be a boxer. Like people used to say, like, man, bro, if you if you if you, you know, saying like if really, you really focused on this box, yeah, you, you will really be a world, world champion. <laughs> world champion. <sighs> People, they plan you. But the the reason, what I'm saying is like, man, like whenever I didn't go to college, right? I had a scholarship to play football and I couldn't go. It was it was D3. Don't worry. I, I couldn't go. And, uh, and uh, what's it called? It, bro, it devastated me, man. I was out of it. I was like, I was so disappointed. I was mad, and I was like, "Eff it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do whatever I want." And I just, I just like in hindsight, I think that w my advice to myself would have been like, "There are certain things in your life that are important that have always been important to you, and it'll never change." Like your foundation, family, bro, friends, religion. family, friend, religion, exactly. And like, if you hold on to those things, it's like there's always something that you can do to improve yourself in those departments, right? Like. If you don't know what you want to do for a career, it's it's fine. I, I genuinely believe that it's fine. And and it's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But I think that it's okay that if, if you're 26 years old and you don't know what you want to do with a career and you're looking for a job and you just graduate, I think it's okay. Yeah. Like, you will live. I mean, everybody grows on their own base. I think a, an excellent foundation is, like, work on your fa like your relationship with your family. That is a huge thing that people... And and I had a I had a great family, so I'm blessed. And it, it may be it may be so much easier for me to say. Yes. But I, I definitely I definitely think that family is important. And if not your blood family, then the people that you consider family. Yeah. And then if not, there's other the other foundations. There's religion. That's the right. biggest one for me. Right? Yeah. Like people hate when I talk about religion, <laughs> but 
it's the biggest foundation for me because for me my religion encompasses literally everything my work what i what i listen to what i look at what i who i talk to like everything it's like so a guideline the man it's the blueprint it's the blueprint for me so yes. that's that's but and that's my thing and, and it may not be someone else's thing but i definitely think that everybody needs a foundation like there or has a foundation even um and and if you don't then you need to get one or you'll die uh but and i and i think there's there's should be some things that you don't move on and you build on that and it's like that is probably one of the best ways to grow and, and everything else will fall, fall yeah exactly it'll fall into place it'll fall into place baby Woo! once again full disclaimer we are not gurus we ain't pros man like we don't know nothing yo ignore this whole thing do your own thing if you made it this far in the video <laughs> you were stupid no <laughs> <laughs> no but just to sum it up, we were talking about how growth is essential. Definitely. Um, it it's could, inevitable. Yeah, it, it could be positive, it could be negative. And it's very uncomfortable and difficult sometimes, but do not be scared to grow, basically. Yeah, man. Sometimes you'll be in a bad situation, or you'll be in a situation, and it feels like, you know, taking the next step is, is scary for you, and it's like, and you have to move. And if you don't move, then it's more harmful for you than getting out of the, you know, the situation that you're in. So I think that that was me. <laughs> yeah, that, that dude on a bike. Somebody, somebody's on a bike. But um, but I just think like, yeah, sometimes you you'll have to. <clears throat> part of growth is going places that you've never been before, and sometimes that's scary. So quote me on that too. That was fire. <laughs> yeah, it was alright. It was something but, uh, that everybody says every other day. But I'm tired of this guy. But yeah. But yeah, no. We're, we're good. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, life will force you to move, so keep moving. Quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I think that's it. We appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Listening. And uh, I'm Alex. I'm Misa. Peace. Peace, man. <laughs>